What do you think is going on in the Texans locker room where it's obvious that there's not a chance on this green earth that any scenario could unfold <laughs> where Deshaun Watson will either be asked to play and put him on the spot or yeah. or Deshaun Watson will essentially say, I'll play. I, I just got to – I'm seeing my teammates do X, Y, and Z. What do you think's going on there? That's very interesting. I don't really know. You know, this is really uncharted territories for, for a lot of us, mm-hmm. you know, to have uh, everything that's going on uh, with Deshaun Watson, with the Houston Texans. Um, this is, like I said, uncharted territories. Nobody really knows what's going on. We're not really hearing a lot of stuff. Uh, so I think, you know, every – your guess is probably good as mine just because you what do you do do you let them play do you not let them play you know it's it's uh it's just messy to be honest right and i'm just wondering again if players are just going to be you know um if they've already put it in a box and haven't they they just know it's not possible and just going to forget about it and and so far i mean the first two weeks they they they've looked much better than anybody could have expected or thought and they're going to start their rookie guy tonight, Steve. You know, they so. they have looked much better. Um, you know, when you get the Jags, that 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 always helps you, right? <laughs> right. Um, that's you know, that's that that unfortunately right now between the Jags and what the Lions, that's your that's that's your get right games right there. Um, so I'm not, you know, I think Tyrod's done a good job, and then all of a sudden he pulls his hamstring. Um, you know, they're going to run the ball. Um, that's just their bread and butter. They got, you know, three headed monsters. So, um, and they, they, they better do that against, uh, Carolina tonight because their, that defense is pretty dominant. Yeah, well, so let's get into that. Steve Smith senior here on the Rich Eisen show. How for real, um, how for real are the Carolina Panthers? Steve, I think they are for real. Um, for what we've seen thus far, it's, you know, heading into week three, um, you know, they played the Jets in the first time, and I was down in, you know, down there in Carolina, and I'm like, hey, before you start buying your Super Bowl tickets, right, let's let's remind ourselves it's the Jets. But the way they come in week two against um, the New Orleans Saints and um, how dominant they were, they have been, right, the last two years having 18 draft picks um, over the last two years and uh, using 11 defensive players um, to, to acquire – through the draft, and what is dominant? Their defense. So, but what's even surprising is Sam Darnold. How well he's played uh, thus far. How calm he's looked based off the last time we saw him playing football in a non-Carolina Panther uniform was with the Jets, and he didn't look uh, halfway or even close to what you're seeing today. So, um, Matt Rule is doing an exceptional job. Uh, being a head coach there, in, heading into his third year, and then Scott Fitter, the general manager, um, you can just see how he, how his his finger, his pulse is on that draft because they had so many more draft picks in the second draft uh, under Scott Fitter. So it's just been a, a unique transition for Scott Fitter and Matt Rule, um, and everything that has been surprising by the Carolina Panthers and how they're playing. I think it just kind of goes to the changing of the guard and 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 the organization that uh, that seems to be moving upper uh, year by year and by the looks of it, game by game. So then, how real is real? Because you got the defending Super Bowl champs in the top of that division, real enough to even give them a, a fight? What do you think? I think I think real enough to give them a fight. You see the Dallas Cowboys defensively getting after Tom Brady, that gives you a chance. And then if your offense can somehow you know go first down the first down versus first down with the Tom Brady uh, you have a chance at least right you make it competitive and so if this defense can stay dominant and Sam Darnold can keep quiet feet um, they he has the weapons already they have a running game with Christian being back he's on pace to possibly have over 500 touches that would be a, a um, NFL record since uh, DeMarco Murray, and, uh, Murray did it with, I think, 492 in 2018. Uh, I'm sorry, 2014. Man, it'll, 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 be, it'll be very interesting. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.